getting very gaunt, said the Shan Van Va. Provisions I am scant, said the Shan Van Va. When Forbes he does come here, it's the very place we'll steer. We'll get everything we want, said the Shan Van Va. Such parties that we owe, said the Shan Van Va. We will not pretend to know, said the Shan Van Va. We'll give them just a nod as we pass them on the road. As to Forbes, this we'll go, said the Shan Van Va. We must keep our secrets dark, said the Shan Van Va. If we want to make our mark, said the Shan Van Va. To handle our cards well, a good story we must tell. We will promise hemlock bark, said the Shan Van Va. Oh, we'll promise him a sleigh, said the Shan Van Va. And a half a ton of hay, said the Shan Van Va. We'll promise him some meat, some barley and some wheat. Just before we run away, said the Shan Van Va. Oh, I've just come in to deal, said the Shan Van Va. Have you any Indian meal, said the Shan Van Va. I mean to pay you soon by the latter end of June with a carcass of fresh veal, said the Shan Van Va. Oh, I want some cotton spools, said the Shan Van Va. And I want some candle moles, said the Shan Van Va. I'll pay you with the hide of the little bull that died, all full of warble holes, said the Shan Van Va. Oh, I want some cotton prints, said the Shan Van Va. If you'll only give consent, said the Shan Van Va. I am now in great distress, for I need a flashy dress to attend the sacrament, said the Shan Van Va. Oh, I want a water jug, said the Shan Van Va. And I want a chamber mug, said the Shan Van Va. I've been troubled this last year with one with just one ear, and it's awkward for to lug, said the Shan Van Va. Now just tell me what is due, said the Shan Van Va, and I hope you will not sue, said the Shan Van Va. Just run up my account and tell me the amount, and that's all I ask of you, said the Shan Van Va.